Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis, she, they, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are looking at Super Late Bloomer, My Early Days in Transition by Julia Kay. Looking at Kay's bio for this script, I found out she has also recently published a second autobiographical book entitled My Life in Transition. Obviously, I'm looking forward to reviewing that title as well, eventually. Otherwise, pulling from her webpage, Julia Kay describes herself as follows. Julia Kay is a story artist and revisionist with four years of animation industry experience, as well as an acclaimed published cartoonist whose webcomic Up and Out has garnered hundreds of thousands of readers and wide critical praise. To summarize, this short collection of comic strips follows Kay's cartoon diary through the early days of her transition in 2016. Quote, Julia's poignant, relatable comics honestly depict her personal ups and downs while dealing with the various issues involved in transitioning from struggling with self-acceptance and challenging social expectations to moments of self-love and joy. Super Late Bloomer both educates and inspires as Julia faces her difficulties head-on and commits to being wholly authentic who she was always meant to be. Themes in this volume obviously revolve around self-discovery, self-affirmation, and love. As far as wordiness and art style goes, this is the first comic strip I've read in a while, so that was a novel change. Otherwise, I feel like Kay has been able to really condense a lot of things down into bite-sized portions that communicate a lot in such short form and through such minimalistic line work. That said, as a short comic strip that mostly only shows the creator themselves, I feel like holding this up to the regular intersections I'm looking for is entirely unfair. I will admit to be pretty happy whenever I see more stories about transitions, especially if they are a comic book. The previous example that I've already reviewed is a fictionalized but based off of people's real life first year out, a transition story by Sabrina Symington. And of course, we also have Gumballs by Aaron Nations, which is a creative nonfiction approach to the creator's life as a trans man in Portland. To conclude, I would give this collection 4 out of 5 stars. Bye y'all, keep reading, and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.